everyone, I have a new uh, winter doodle for you and this week we're looking at a little bear, polar bear, and we do have um, a link where you can find this helpful guide. Um, I'm going to draw it a little bit out of sequence um, just because I like to get the shape of it. Um, when I go in with ink, I might do this sequence. But um, the first thing I wanna do is get the, sh the whole shape of him. And what I'm seeing is sort of um, almost like parentheses, like close to each other. This one will be sort of a big bear, I guess. Just, I don't know, go with light pencil lines because you can erase these later and so you don't want them to be too too dark and make indents in the paper and um, really be hard to scrub out um, so next I'm gonna just find where I want the scarf to be and so like my end result is not gonna be parentheses you know I'm going to add shapes but this will just be my sort of outline okay make that a little bit wavy and then in just a little from here we'll do more of the head shape sort of some more parentheses and then the hat goes straight across, cutting the head off on the top. Um, I should say covering the head. Okay. And I, I find like picking up my pencil um, to make these separate lines. I could have just made a big one and then gone across, but I think having a little bit um, I don't know, I think you can tell that I picked up my pencil there and that these are two different parts. Um, now for the pom-pom, I'm going to make a whole circle, even though only part of it's going to show when I ink it, but it gives me a better shape. I have these little curly cues for the pom-poms. Okay. And... The bear's nose, I always want to do a, a bear's nose, like, curvy at the top, but really what it is, is curvy on the side. So I'll go, like, straight across and then give it a nice curve on the side. And then I could make this go down there. cute little smile. This is one of my favorites that we've done. I think he's adorable. Teeny little eyes. And I'm not gonna do anything for the, I'm not gonna do an outline for his uh, rosy cheeks. It's a really nice style because it's so um, forgiving. It's very stylized, so nobody's expecting anyone to make a life, um, lifelike bear here, or accurate lederhosen, or whatever he's wearing. Okay, and then I'm just doing half a shape under there, and then these lines, I won't put in ink. And his arms have a wide angle for the outer arm and a small angle like that for the inner arm and then the mittens are sort of those heart shapes that are sort of unbalanced So if you could imagine like it looking sort of like a heart, that's how I make my mittens. Um, I'm going to give him
some, some fluff around the edge to sort of break up the line. My mittens are going to end on the line of his abdomen. And he's got a belt that looks like a pokeball, but we can make it look like whatever we like. If you know fancy belt that you like to draw, just add it in. And then his adorable little legs. I'm just gonna do a, a rainbow in the middle and straight lines. Uh, for the boots, I'll do the curved line for the inside. And then I'll take this and uh, curve it around back to the top of the boot. That gives me a little, a little booty shape. I'm gonna give him some fluff over that too. Okay, and oh, suspenders. I always forget something at the end. This triangle design. These are not even well, I think uh, I think I'll be forgiven. Okay, and now I always go over it with pen. Um, this one was um, fairly straightforward. Some of the ones I will practice over and over and erase and erase and not be happy with it. But this one, because everything's sort of um, I don't know, just did like a lot of those parentheses shapes. Just here, here, down there again. Um, I thought it was, uh, you know, a fun drawing. It comes out really cute and it's very accessible. I think anybody could try this. I think anyone could try it and be successful. You could do a variant on this too. You know, it doesn't have to be, I'm gonna do a polar bear, but it doesn't have to be a polar bear. You could, you could make it any kind. And this scarf, I'm gonna make a little bit flatter. With these lines, I like to go pretty swiftly to get, um, you know, some some movement in the lines. If you try um, to get them perfect by going slowly, the opposite actually happens. They come out sort of jagged. Um, it's fine to wobble and have some wiggly lines, but um, I know if... If I went and tried to get this very straight, it would be, I don't know, sort of bumpy. Whereas if I just go faster and just more confident with your line, it's gonna come out um, a lot smoother. And with straight lines, I move my whole arm. If, if it's small straight lines like this, you don't, but long ones. I will just keep my pen there and move it down the page. And I like how, like, there's no definition in these feet. Feet are notoriously difficult to draw. And I don't know anybody who likes to draw them. And I actually have heard of uh, an artist, I can't remember the name right now, but they didn't like doing feet in their artwork. So they just hid everyone's feet 
So if they'd have like a woman outside, the grass would be long enough to go up to her ankles. Um, if they were inside, maybe there'd be like a cat on the ground in front of their feet. And he, so he found a way around it. Just none of those people have feet, you can't tell. And these little ones, they're just a really cute little style. And so, of course, there's none in life that look like this. So, there's no way that you can get it wrong. cute and I hope you guys like him as much as I do. Bye!